Everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here with Automate with Jonathan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to how to extract some text from a web page by CSS selector. Uh, this is a different method uh, used in the latest paradigm of of Selenium, so it's going to have a little bit of nuance, and I want to show you that right now. Um, what you can see here is my is the setup. Th this is where we're doing the selection for the uh, for the CSS selector, and here is everything dedicated to just starting our script, importing the correct libraries, initializing the driver, opening the web page in question. We're just getting this corpa.com web page. We're going to open it, and we're going to select out this item here, the first price on the page. Oops, it's not uh, scrolling. The first price, we just want to get that $89.95. Okay. So how did we do that? Well, we did it by using a CSS selector that was known, that we knew was there. So let's find that CSS selector. So we open up Corba, and we're going to look on the page, and we're going to right-click the price, click Inspect, and let me see here. We're just going to click Inspect again. When you, when, you -click, when you click Inspect twice, you know, after the inspector is open, it takes you to the exact piece there. Okay, so it's in not that div, it's in this div. And looking, we're looking. It's not there. Sometimes you gotta hunt around a little bit. Right there. Div class product card price. There we go, getting closer. Div, the class is price. Okay, there you go. So we're just gonna grab this price class name out and we're gonna insert it into our code here. And the code is just simply header text equals driver dot find underscore element by equals, it's a lowercase by, upper, and then an uppercase by. And then I just wanna show you this here. Here are all the different methods you can use, but we're gonna use CSS selector, comma, space value equals and then since it's a class name we're going to start with a period for price if it was if, if it was using an id you would use the hashtag price okay if you want to combine the two you could do like that if, it, if there's multiple ones there that you want to drill down by so we're just going to do that unfortunately this is a duplicate and there you go, we run the script, and then it'll load everything. And here you can see it found the price. Now if I wanted to get out, if I wanted to return a list of prices, I would, do, I would change that element to elements. Okay, and now it would give me every price in a list. So I could do something, I would have to change this to element1.text. I, I could do a for loop here and print them all out, but I'm just trying to keep this short and simple. You know, two, three, four. And if we run this, it prints out all the prices. You know, what if we did what? Do the next set. I just want to show some variation in that number there. Oh. Yeah, it's not loading. Sometimes it loads slow. Still waiting. Script is still running. Let's rerun it again. So I, I errored the script out there. I'm just going to rerun it one more time. It's possible that there's some blocking going on. Huh. 
There we go. Now it's loaded. Sometimes the DNS takes a second to resolve. So while that loads, maybe we can just go back here and, and cover this over again. So don't forget to use the find elements by equals by dot CSS selector. You know, if, if we didn't want to use CSS selector, and I would really recommend it as like a last resort, we can just do class name. That will work as well. And if we have an ID, then we can do dot ID. And that, that would work if this was a uh, You'd have to change this for both of those. Right? If this was class name, you'd have to change. You have to get rid of the period. But let's go back. Let's try and rerun this again. Okay, seems to be loading now. There it is. Finally, my internet got really slow all of a sudden. There are all the different prices. 89, 49, 89. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you get anything out of this video, please hit the like button and uh, hit the subscribe button as well. Uh, I'm really trying to get to 1,000 subscribers as soon as possible. So please, please, please. I really uh, I ask you very politely. Please hit the sub button. Thank you so much. Have a great day.